Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo, and the Patreon family we work in. Now, if you head over to the WBC, their official website, shout out to them. They have the final ruling regarding Luis King Kong Ortiz, heavyweight, who was in a bit of hot water, if you will, when he was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder. And it's funny because it says WBC Clean Boxing Program, VADA. You use, you lose. But that's not the case necessarily with Luis Ortiz. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will link to it in the description. I want to read some excerpts. And it says, Mr. Ortiz is finding failure to disclose ingesting the, the medication in his enrollment TUE and failure to disclose ingesting the medication in the sample collected. It's a violation. It says, number two, assessing Mr. Ortiz a fine of 25 thousand dollars three ordering mr ortiz to undertake a complete physical examination protocol four instructing vada pursuant to the wbc cbp to design a specific random testing protocol for mr ortiz to commence as soon as feasible and then it says withdrawing its previously issued sanction etc now the final ruling it says, pursuant to the WBC prior ruling, Mr. Ortiz underwent the following medical examinations as ordered and arranged the WBC Medical Advisory Committee, Committee Chairman, Dr. Paul Wallace. Right. So and it's a list of tests he did. He did an MRA, an MRI, electrocardiogram, EKG, exercise stress test and some other things. And. In conclusion, it says, in light of the information set forth, however, the WBC concludes that the evidence available to the WBC supports a finding that Mr. Ortiz's ingestion of high blood pressure medication was directed to the treatment of an ongoing medical condition. Therefore, Mr. Ortiz will continue to be tested based on a specifically designed testing protocol. As of the date of the ruling, Ortiz is available to compete in WBC sanctioned events as shall be confirmed in the WBC rankings in a position consistent with the recommendation of the WBC ratings committee. So um, in layman's terms, he's off the hook. He's allowed to fight 2018. He's back in the picture. And some people feel different ways about it. I don't even want to get too far into my personal feelings. My thing is this to me, if it's, if, if you're going to let him slide and let the fight happen or let him be in the rankings, then why even mess up the fight with Deontay Wilder? Like, I personally flew out to New York to cover the fight. Initially, I was expecting it to be Wilder Ortiz, but even though it was Wilder Stavern, I still went out there. You know what I mean? It was a solid card. Um, I wanted to get to cover a heavyweight main event. I had never covered a heavyweight main event. I've covered heavyweight fights that were on the undercards, but I can't recall a big heavyweight main event. So I just wanted to be a part of that. And I'm glad I went. I got some good footage. First round knockout. The rest is history. But w w Wilder said he wanted to fight Ortiz, even if he was on something, even with the, the blood pressure medicine um, and the WBC took him off the bill and they had a reduced ticket price so it's just like what was all that for if in the end he gets to fight anyway you know what i'm saying you should have just let that ride because that's obviously the fight the fans wanted to see but um looking forward it looks like joshua is closing in on fighting joseph parker so we we all knew this eddie hearn Joshua, Team Joshua, it doesn't look like they wanted to fight Deontay Wilder next, absolutely next. So Wilder still has to fight somebody. So to me, um, this is a obviously an option. He's, he's allowed to fight. Luis King Kong Ortiz was a, already a sanctioned, scheduled fight for November that got canceled. So that's what I personally would like to see. Um, 
And if, if that's what we're basing it off of building the Wilder Joshua fight, then I think that would be a, a good segue, like Wilder versus Ortiz if he gets past him and then AJ gets past Joseph Parker, then the Wilder Joshua fight will be big. You know what I mean? It's already big right now, but um, I think that'll, you know what I mean? That'll build up the excitement if they both get past those opponents. Plus, when I when I think about it, I don't want to see, me personally, I don't really want to see Wilder versus Dominique Brazil. You know what I mean? And Dominique Brazil and Dillian White, since this happened, are both ranked above Luis Ortiz. So Luis Ortiz, I think, is top three. He's number three. But they put them. I'd rather see them fight in the Eliminator or something. And then reschedule this Wilder Wilder versus Luis Ortiz fight. So let me know what you guys think. Luis Ortiz, King Kong Ortiz, he's, he's back in action. And, and the other thing that's a little bit weird is he still did something where he wasn't supposed to do. Like, that doesn't change whether he was on blood pressure medicine whether he's using it as a masking agent, the the fact that he did not fill out the form correctly is entirely his team's fault. I mean, that's you have that TUE, that enrollment form where you're supposed to declare everything. So there's never been anything that I've seen from Team Ortiz that had a successful scapegoat or or excuse or reason why they did not declare something he's taking because it sounds like. It sounds pretty vital if you have to take heart medicine. Um, and usually that's like a daily thing because I'm not a doctor, but I know little things with, with certain things like, let's say the heart. You, you can't, your heart needs consistency. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can imagine if you're taking something for blood pressure, you don't want to start and stop it. You know what I mean? You're not going to be taking it on one day and then don't take it for three day that's not how that type of stuff works because you have to to build up that immunity and, and get it in your system and you don't want your levels to skyrocket perhaps by being on it and then being off it so usually stuff like that is a consistent thing so again why was it not declared it's something you you have to take you needed to take and it sounded like the wbc their stance now what they're saying in this write-up in this final ruling is they were concerned for his health more or less you know what i mean oh we're just concerned that he should even be fighting if he's his age and he's having heart complications you know what i mean so as a result that's why they postponed it but i mean he he was fine i'm not I, i'm definitely for the fighter's health but at the end of the day he, he was he's been fighting so and I don't think this is a new condition where it just happened months before the fight. So, you know, what I mean, he's been fighting under the same terms. It just came out because he failed a drug test, which is another thing that's weird is like, how long have you been on this drug test medicine? You know, what I'm saying there's there's just a lot of things that are unanswered. How long have you been on this medicine? Because if you've been on it for a year plus, then how come you weren't failing the previous drug test with the same medicine? You know, what I mean, when you were fighting Tony Thompson or dave allen or something like that why were you failing but none of that's here nor there the wbc made their ruling luis ortiz is back in the picture at least on the wbc side with the wba he got dropped from the rankings he's no longer Andy joshua's mandatory he's no longer the mandatory for wilder on the wbc but he is still in the top three still in the rankings that is the latest let me know your thoughts is this weird is this make perfect sense to you let me know drop it in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing <music>